Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, Senior Managing Editor at CNET. And today we're taking a first look at the Spot Global Phone. Now, I know this phone looks a little strange, it looks a little old, looks like it might be from like, I don't know, the early 2000s, or you're probably wondering if maybe it's something from Wall Street, that old movie. But I can say this is a satellite phone. So it is actually somewhat newish. It is a phone of now, but uh, it doesn't connect with cellular network. It actually connects with satellites floating way up in space, which is why it probably looks a little big and why it has a non-traditional design. Actually, it has this big antenna, which I'll get to in a minute, that really connects you with the satellite. But yes, it is very big, it is very bulky. Uh, even though this is a phone that you'd want to carry probably when you're hiking or camping or backpacking or something like that, isn't exactly compact, so you're going to want a bag or a really large pocket for it. It isn't particularly heavy, even with this big battery on the back. But yeah, it's just a little big, so just keep that in mind. One thing that I didn't like is this charger. Now, this isn't just some normal little wall charger or even just a small cable you could plug into maybe an external battery or computer. No, this is something like you'd find with maybe a camera or I don't need, or you know, some sort of big electronics. So you have the, the plug that goes to the wall, you have that big AC adapter, and then you have this other cable that's pretty long, which is, you know, nice if you can keep you can uh, park it a long way from the wall when you're charging, but not so nice when you, it's just something else to carry around. Also has a proprietary connection that goes to your phone, which I'm uh, don't not really a fan of. The phone actually has that port here on the bottom. Not the most convenient or best arrangement for something that you're going to want to take uh, when you're on the go. On the front, there is this small display. It isn't completely monochrome, but it just has red and green. Pretty small, just shows the essential information like the connection, your battery life, uh, if you're connecting to a satellite, the phone status. Of course, there are no graphics since this phone doesn't run any apps or a music player or play movies or anything like that. And then down below are the alphanumeric keypad, so you can use this to dial. You can actually send text messages with this phone, but you cannot receive them. So that's a bit disappointing that you can't have the two-way communication. But I guess that letting you send text messages out just gives you another way to communicate. Otherwise, not many controls. Here on this side, there's a volume rocker. I do like it because it's really big and it's rubberized, so it's easy to find when you're on a call. And there is a 2.5 millimeter headset jack here on the top. Uh, almost everything's 3.5 these days, so a little disappointing that they go 2.5. You're going to need to get an adapter if you have normal sized headphones, or you're going to just need to get a 2.5 millimeter uh, headset. The biggest features on the back are this big battery. You can see it right here. Uh, it does pull out easily. And that antenna. So, of course, you're connecting to satellites. That means you need a big antenna. Uh, you're going to have to rotate that antenna up and pull this out. And there you go. So, you know, if you're using this in public, you will be noticed quite readily. Um, but this is essential for connecting to the sky. Of course, when you use it, you're going to want to make sure that there are no trees or buildings or any other obstructions around. Uh, you don't need to be in a completely open field. I mean, I used it in places where, you know, there are trees a little ways away. But you just need to have a clear shot to the sky. The mechanism is fine. It's not too loose. It's not too stiff. And uh, you're just going to need to rotate it around sometimes, adjust it maybe to get the maximum satellite coverage. The display will have a message that says rotate antenna. Um, you're going to see that here because it says now it says looking for service. Of course, we're not going to find anything since we're inside. But you will find that status of whether the phone's connected or not right on that display. And then when it's connected, you'll see the bar, you'll see bars just like you would normally up here in the corner. I use this phone a few places. I used to use it here in San Francisco. I used it up in Sonoma County, where it's in a rural part of there. I used it on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington. And I used it in Greece as well. In each place, I was able to make a call after a few seconds, or maybe almost a minute of connecting to a satellite. Sound quality is OK. You know, it's not fantastic. But uh, this is a satellite phone, so I really wasn't expecting miracles. If this were a normal cell phone, I would be pretty disappointed. I'd probably really trash it, actually. But one thing about this phone, of course, is that it really needs to work only that one time where you really, really, really need it. So as long as it does then, you'll probably be OK. Uh, it is a bit expensive. The phone itself is almost $500, and then service plans are, are pretty pricey. But if you are a person that really is going to be out in the wilds a lot, you are, you know, you're going to be like be backpacking out in the back country, or you're going to be in a place that just doesn't have normal cellular service, and you really need to keep in touch, or you really just want it for emergencies, I suppose the cost is going to be worth it to you. Overall, though, pretty unique device, but as far as satellite phones go, it is accessible, it is pretty small, and it works, and it works fine. I'm Ken German, and this is the Spot Global Phone.